Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18 Beta 2. So we're almost at two weeks since the release of the first beta of iOS 18, which I have to say has been a great update. A lot of changes, a lot of new features and a lot of customization features that we actually never expected Apple to add to iOS. So overall, it's been an okay experience using iOS 18 beta one even though of course being a beta you can expect a few like things to go wrong but it actually has been quite good so in this video we're talking about the upcoming beta 2 and what you can expect from this update now of course when you install a beta on your iphone especially a big update like this one and being beta 1 you can expect the battery life to be worse of course it shouldn't be that good because there are a lot of new features a lot of changes that you ios device has to adapt to and of course that will cause the battery to drain and there are also a lot of features that are still being worked on and until they get like finished of course you will have a lot of issues so here we have the battery life with beta 1 and this is one of the aspects where i expect ios 18 beta 2 to actually improve but as you can see right here these are the days that i have used my device running ios 18 beta 1 and here we have the battery lives it's actually not that bad for a beta 1 and a big update like this one so right here we have about 85 percent battery six hours 26 minutes right here we have almost six hours and around 65 percent battery and then right here we have 80 percent battery seven hours 47 minutes and then right here about 120 percent battery seven hours it's actually not the worst ever i had other betas of i was 17 actually that did way worse than this so this in my opinion being a beta one and being such a big update it's actually okay but of course we will have to wait for the other features to actually judge iOS 18, especially the AI features, which will come later. We will have to wait and see how those actually will perform and how they will impact the battery life. But expect the battery life to improve with the second beta of iOS 18. Now, another part where I got a huge surprise from iOS 18 is the performance. Now, this is the performance score with Geekbench 6 on iOS 18 Beta 1. You can see we have the single core score at 2,935, while the multi core score is at 7,393. And if, if we compare this actually to 17.5, you can see there is not much of a difference. And you can see right there, the single core score is just a bit higher on 17.5, while the multi-core score is actually higher with the first beta of iOS 18. This is actually looking great. The performance on iOS 18, again, even though on beta one, it's actually really, really surprising and it's looking really good. So this is another aspect where you can expect iOS 18 to improve with the second beta and that's the performance. Now there will be a ton of bugs of course that have to be fixed with iOS 18 beta 2. And there are some really important ones. First of all, notifications. Notifications on iOS 18 beta 1 are just not working. Like sometimes the screen will just light up and you don't get a notification or sometimes I have noticed like if I get a notification from Instagram, I, I basically open that notification. The other time I get another one, it says that I have two notifications and they will pile up like that. So it doesn't clear the notification, even though I open it, it still shows me that I have another one and it will just keep piling up. And as I said, sometimes it just don't show at all, just brightens up the screen. So that is something that has to be fixed. Also, the control center, the new control center, it's really cool. I like it. Of course, we have to have a lot of improvements here. There are a lot of bugs. Sometimes there will be pages that you cannot actually delete at all. And resizing all the elements on the control center is actually quite hard. They don't work as they should most of the time. And of course, rearranging them is quite a bit of a challenge as well. So there has to be a lot of more work here on the control center. Another thing are the buttons 
on the lock screen when trying to change them it's actually really hard you have to try like three or four times to change a button that's quite buggy as well so that has to be fixed as well so of course there are a lot of other bugs that need to be fixed with ios 18 beta 2 but these are some of the most obvious ones that a lot of users are reporting that i'm expecting apple to actually fix with the second beta of ios 18. now of course when talking about features you can expect apple to add way more features on the second beta of ios 18 usually the three or four first betas will have a ton of new features i would expect apple to add probably around 30 to 40 even more new features and make adjustments to the current new features of ios 18 expect that to happen but of course we don't know anything specific what we actually know regarding the new features is that there are some features that apple has talked about that they said that will come later that actually won't come this summer so they will be here but they will be with another update after ios 18 has been released to the public so if you're waiting for the new siri if you're waiting for the new ai features the cleanup tool the writing tools the image playgrounds chat gpt and all that those are features that will not come to your device with the second beta of ios 18.2 even the new mail experience that apple basically has redesigned a new mail app the memories in the photos these are features that are coming later but again they said that they will, they will be coming later and they won't come with ios 18 beta 2 they should come with another update after ios 18 has actually been released to the public so when can you expect ios 18 beta 2 to come to your device well taking a look at history apple releases the first few betas on a two-week schedule so they have released of course beta 1 on june 10th i would expect the 24th or the 25th to be the dates that apple will release the second beta of ios 18. now this is very very important if you have updated to the first beta of ios 18 I suggest that you immediately update to the second beta. If you already have the beta, make sure you have the latest ones because of course they will have the most improvements, of course new features and all that stuff. But what's more important is that you have a more stable version of that beta. So on the 24th, 25th, these are the dates that I'm expecting Apple to release the second beta. Make sure that you update your device. Now, if you haven't updated to iOS 18 beta one, and you're not sure whether you should not should do it or not i would suggest that you wait for the public release actually for the public beta release and that should happen sometime here like the second to the third week of july i would expect apple to actually release the first public beta of ios 18. that's maybe the best time to try out a new software update that's the time when apple actually believes that the update is actually stable enough to be on a daily device of a public user so if you just want to know when you should update if you haven't already i suggest that you wait for the public beta so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that like button of course subscribe for more ios 18 videos and let me know right down below in the comments what do you think about ios 18 beta 1 so far and what changes would you like to see on the second beta of ios 18 so that's it and i'll see you on the next one